In this video we will learn how to turn your dull, boring and dry scenes of unity into somewhat like this. Oh my god! Wow! By the way, if you are wondering what scene I, I am using, it is an indoor scene called Modular Sci-Fi Environment. It is a paid asset, you can buy it from asset store or if you want to download it for free, you can click the link in the description box below to see my video how to download free assets uh, of unity. So I just download it for free and it's really cool asset. When someone says how to get good graphics in Unity, the first thing that pops into mind is post-processing. So I have the post-processing over here. Without the post-processing, the scene somewhat looks like this. And with the post-processing, it looks like this. So I have the post-processing going on. Nothing much is going on in here. I have some simple color grade that has the drastic change. So I have just color corrected, little tint shint. And, and one thing I did notice was how to increase or decrease the contrast. So if you slide this slider, you can in basically increase the contrast. Same goes over here. So you can increase the contrast basically. And this one is not the contrast. It is basically the... Uh, the the brightness of the scene so you can increase it somewhere over here so i basically made it look like this of course post processing has a great effect on the scene like this is without the post processing and this is with the post processing however this scene is much 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 better than that scene well there are multiple reasons of that first thing you will notice is the lighting effect light is bouncing like, like the light is bouncing so if I select one of the surface there is a material over here and if I go ahead and change the material to red you can see the red is bouncing on this 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 surface also if I turn this to blue you can see it is emitting or the light is being reflected from here and it is bounces to this guy and this guy is representing green because the light is bouncing so why am I getting this result well there are two major things I am using baked lighting and secondly I am using reflection probes. So let's see how to implement them. So I am going to go to the second scene which is the bad scene and I am going to go ahead and select the lights. So I have as you, as you can see the intensity of the light is set to 7000. If I come back to the demo scene 1 and in the lights the light is set to 600. The, all the all the light point lights have the intensity of 600. So you can see the difference. If I come over here select the lights and set them back to 600 there you go as you can see the whole scene is so so dull and black well how do you fix it you have to go to your entire map in my case everything is in here so the static objects the walls these are the 3d models of the walls and everything is you know nicely packed in so i'm gonna select the f the first one the parent object in which everything is and I'm going to select that and I'm going to come in here and say light map static. If I click this, it says, do you want to enable the light map static flag for all the children objects? Yes, I do want to do that. So I'm going to say yes for the children. And I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to go to the lighting. Now, if you don't see this tab, you have to go to the window. Uh, rendering and light maps the lighting settings and you can see this guy over here so what you have to do is you basically have to copy these uh, these settings maybe these are the default settings i don't really know i may have changed the settings but you have to do this and then maybe your auto generate uh, lighting is also checked so i have unchecked that and you have to say generate lighting so it may take some time so i'm gonna pause the video and start the video when this when this loading bar is completed and believe me or not, this is the result when I generated the light map. So this is the demo scene 2, this is the demo scene 1. There is no fucking difference between the two of them. But there is another thing that you can do to make your scenes look good. That is reflection probe. So right click go ahead and say light and then there is a reflection probe thing. Select that and go to top down view and you basically have to select or uh, decide the area in my case I want the reflection probe to cover this so you can increase the box size from here increase it and increase the width maybe bring it over here and make sure it is leveled like this so I'm gonna decrease it from here and there we go so our reflection probe is covering the entire unit cool now I'm gonna come back in here in here and I'm gonna select the reflect probe and there is an option called bake okay so say bake and this is the reflection probe baked however 
the reflection probe baked the reflection probe baked the reflection probe baked does not has any reflection of these these walls anything why well because the because of the well it is baking of course and in order for something to bake we have to set the object to static well you will ask that we already have set it to static to light map static but this is only for light map in order to, for the reflection probe to work we have to set reflection probe static so i'm gonna go ahead and select that yes children and i'm gonna come back in here and say bake again and this time you will see that there is a fucking reflection going on beautiful but it is not doing anything in here well this is because it is set to baked so we have to go to lighting back back again and we have to say generate again and it's of course gonna take a little time so i'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and i don't have to basically pause the video the result will be of course the same as in this one save it the result will be same as this one so in this case there is some little reflection going on in here so this is basically how you get good graphics two things bake lighting and uh, reflection probes so this will be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed and learned something and i am working on a new project for you guys a new tutorial and that will be based on the star trooper jet trooper whatever that is called and basically it's something like this so i'm working on the animations right now i was making the animation in 3s max the jetpack system as you can see over here so i'm working on this i want to make this and of course the tutorial will i, I will also make the tutorial but this this is the animation that i'm trying to make right now and if you want to learn how to make this make sure you subscribe to my channel because the tutorial will be released pretty soon hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video Peace out.